Hi, this is Tim Jones from Accelerate Computer Training in sunny Long Beach, California with another tip to help accelerate your learning and productivity. In Excel version 2007 and later versions, the Create Pivot Table wizard replaced the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart wizard, which effectively removed the ease with which we could consolidate multiple data ranges of Excel data into a pivot table. Fortunately, they've left the old wizard in the program. It's just a little harder to get to now. In this workbook, I've got four sheets of data, each representing sales of classical music in three months and three different styles. In the north region, the south region, the east region, and the west region of the country. Now notice the west region has an extra column and even an extra row of data. I did that to show you that your data ranges don't have to be all exactly the same size, but they do need to share a lot of the same column and row heading labels, like the month names in this example and the, uh, the style names. To consolidate these many ranges into a pivot table, you're going to press the Alt key and then release it. Don't hold it down. Then you're going to press the letter D, as in dog, but don't hold it down. And then you're going to press the letter P, as in pivot table. And that will bring up the pivot table and pivot chart wizard from the old days, back from Excel 2003 and earlier. There we can choose to, uh, to include multiple consolidation ranges in our pivot table report. Page fields, currently called report fields or report filters, can either be uh, created manually or we can have it create a single page field for us. I'll leave it at that option and click Next. Then we get to start choosing our ranges. When you highlight your ranges, be sure to include the column and row label headings as well as the data. Then click the Add button for each one. We'll move on to the South Sheet, select that range, and click Add and likewise for the other two sheets. Finally the west sheet which had a slightly different size range. Make sure we include that extra column and row and add and then I'm done. If you're curious this browse button would let you open up a different workbook and include data ranges from the various worksheets on that other workbook. Now click Next it asks where we want the pivot table report to go. I'll say on a new worksheet and click finish. And we've got our pivot table report generated from those four different data ranges. Notice how the uh, arrangement of the data may not be exactly what I want. I would like post romantic to follow after romantic. So you can just click in the left portion of that first cell of that row when the pointer is facing to the right and then point to the edge and we get that pointer shape right there, the drag and drop pointer. You can click and hold and drag to rearrange the rows manually. The same is true with columns. You could select a column if you needed to rearrange it and then point to the edge of that selected column when you get the drag and drop pointer like that you could drag it around. I hope this helps if you ever need to consolidate multiple data ranges into a pivot table.